Hello, students. Welcome to week three. I wanted to post a short video welcoming you to week three, and I wanted to respond to a few of the questions I continue to get about where do I find the materials under modules. You could click on any of the learning and practice sections. I also wanted to point out one quick thing. When you're done with a module, you can actually click the little button and close it so that it just doesn't get quite as long. Then you can focus on what you're working on now, and when you're done, you can click close and move to the next week. So here we are in section 1.0, and if I open it, you can see that I've got a link here that says you can read the pages from the textbook, check your work in the key to the textbook, and then down in practice mode you've got homework and the typed key or the handwritten key. Below that are also some videos that will walk you through the textbook pieces, showing you for each Explore activity at least one of the parts. You would then complete the rest of the parts for each of the book pages and then jump into practice mode so you can reinforce the learning. So if I click on textbook, it will take me to the Google Drive where we have these stored. And you can click on the PDF. Here's the textbook for Unit 1. And you'll notice as you go through, every single section is here. And you'll see there are some blank pieces. Now some of you have wanted to do your homework and your book work digitally. So you would need an iPad or a tablet that you can write on. And then as you write, you can just write your answers down and save the file. If you prefer to do your work on physical paper, writing with, say, a pencil or a pen, then you'll need to stop by the Math Learning Center to pick up your books. Here's what the physical books look like. When you pick up the book itself, it will be spiral bound. It will have a nice clear plastic cover. Each one of the book pages at the bottom will say what page it is and what unit it is. So again, as you flip it open, we go to Unit 1. Here's Unit 1, page 19. You can turn to any page, see the blank spaces that remain for you to work in. And again, this is going to help you, as I say, turn in or submit images from specific pages at the end of a week. And you just submit those pages. Cam Scanner seems to be the best app that's free. And this is the book section. Now, when you're done with your learning mode, it's time for practice mode. Now, these homework pages will be three-hole punched and stapled. So you can remove the staple if you'd like and keep them in a binder. And then as you work through, notice at the bottom it says homework unit zero, or as we flip forward, homework unit one in later sections. If I asked you for this page, maybe homework unit zero, page 11, you would simply take a picture of this page and submit it. Later, you might have to do things with a spreadsheet. Again, you can just put your answers on the page and submit the pages that are requested. Here, this would be page 31 for homework unit one. Whether you use the digital or the print versions, at the end of a unit, I'll click module, you will have a question that asks you to submit a book and homework check. This is where it will say something like, what pages in the book? Page 32 and 41. What pages in the homework? Page 16 and 30. So there's two of those. I'm also asking for you to take a current picture of your notes page. Again, your notes page can be typed or handwritten, and that's the piece that you'll be allowed to take into the proctored exam. So I really want to see that and be able to give you feedback on what I think you're doing well and what might be able to change as we go forward. I hope you enjoy our next week, and if you have other questions, please let me know. All right, off you go.